Today I'm going to use thalamide I synthesized last week to make anthranilic acid, which I'm going to use later to synthesize methyl red and some azo dyes. The first thing I want to do is dissolve 6 grams of sodium hydroxide in 25 milliliters of distilled water. I then chill this to 0 degrees celsius and add it to 20 milliliters of 10% sodium hypochlorite bleach solution. What I've done here is basically made a really alkaline bleach solution and so it's really important that this is done at a low temperature or it will decompose the sodium hypochlorite. I now quickly add 5.2 grams of the thalamide under constant stirring and let it dissolve. During this time the solution will slowly turn yellow and what's happening here is a two step reaction. In the first step, sodium hydroxide will break the thalamide ring open at the nitrogen, and in the second step, sodium hypochlorite will attach a chlorine onto that nitrogen. This set of reactions is basically complete once all of the thalamide has dissolved, and for my next step, I begin by submerging a thermometer into my reaction mixture. I then add 16 milliliters of 6 molar sodium hydroxide and heat the solution to 80 degrees celsius in order to initiate the next chemical reaction. This temperature is held for 30 minutes and during that time the chlorine is replaced with a carboxylate group. This sodium carboxylate salt is fairly insoluble and might precipitate out if you lost too much water during this step, but it's not a big deal. For my last step, I allow my solution to cool and then slowly add 5 molar hydrochloric acid until my pH reaches 3.5. This step will displace both sodiums bound to my intermediate and produce sodium chloride and CO2 gas as byproducts. However, keep in mind most of this addition is the neutralization of excess sodium hydroxide, so when the reaction does happen, it happens very quickly and can produce a lot of CO2 gas that might bubble out of control. This is what happened to me, and thank god it didn't make too much of a mess, but it was kind of annoying. Anyway, all this crazy foaming indicates that most of my thalamide has been formed and the reaction is basically complete. At this point, the addition of hydrochloric acid serves to precipitate my product as anthranilic acid is soluble at very high or very low pHs. Because of this, the addition of too much hydrochloric acid can cause the product to redissolve, which I accidentally did. Fixing this though is pretty easy, and all you want to do is add some sodium hydroxide to balance your pH back up to 3.5. Now for my final final step, I want to filter and dry my crude anthranilic acid. You can also do a recrystallization in ethanol for really high purity, but I didn't bother because it's not really relevant for my applications. To that end, I just rinsed it thoroughly in ice cold water and then desiccated it overnight, and my final yield is 3.11 grams, which is about a 65% yield. This yield definitely could have been better, but I guess I'm happy with it. In any case, I hope you found this interesting, and if you want to see more like it, consider giving me a follow.